Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It is Saturday morning by just a few minutes. It is 11.55, kind of cloudy and a little bit sunny. The sun was out a little bit more earlier. Whatever, it's 58 degrees. So not as warm as it was yesterday, which I thought it was supposed to be. But again, every time I tell you what the weather's gonna be, it's something different. So I thought that I would get my gear together and go to Pleasure House Point again. This time, not just with the FX3 to film, but with the A7R5 with the 200 to 600 and the FX3 so that I can film myself taking pictures of birdies because I know everybody loves that. Already, I can see the, the shift in views on my videos. There has been a decided uptick in views and I'm even getting more subscribers since this year started. And granted, I was away for a while. I wasn't posting on a regular basis. And then I started posting all the time in January and all my videos are seeing a lot more than I normally do, which isn't a lot. But when I talked about gear, massive spike. So clearly y'all just love when I talk about gear, even though I'm not a gear channel. I'm not going to turn this into a gear channel. There's a shit ton of those out there. You can go find them. I'm sure you have your favorites. What I am going to do, and I have mentioned this and I don't know if I cut it out or not, I can't keep track, is that I am going to talk about gear because gear is an important part of my daily life because I use it all the time. And over the past, I'm just gonna say six months, although it's been like for the past five or six years, but definitely the last six months after my freak out, I sold a lot of stuff and I bought stuff too, but I now have my kit pared down to what I'm going with. And that is my kit for what works for me on a daily basis now. Now, since I got my website up, then I actually started going through and looking in Model Mayhem and, and various places, even Instagram, trying to find you know, people to work with. I haven't shot people for like a decade. Only one, one girl have I ever worked with in the entire time I've lived here. But I have different gear. I have a different mindset. And I have been practicing and, and watching shit tons of videos and all that kind of crap to try to get myself back where I need to be up here to be able to do that. 15 years ago, in fact, I was just looking through my, my Flickr stream and I was going through and showing my wife like some of these pictures 17 years ago. I was so creative back then and I just was immersed in photography and everything that I did, everything that I thought, every place that I went, all had to do with photography in one way, shape or form because I was so obsessed with it. You, you know, so I'm starting to get back into that mindset that I used to have as a photographer. And now I'm at the stage where I actually did reach out to a model who doesn't live anywhere around here and said, if you're ever in this area, let me know. And we conversed back and forth. That broke the dam for me. Now I'm, I'm although I was always looking at Model Mayhem, now I'm willing to reach out to these people. So I'm gonna start doing that next. I'm not going to shy away from my passion, newly found passion, because I hated working with humans, is this. Still going out into nature and, and birding or just wildlife in general. Although around here, it's mostly birding. That's always gonna be a passion for me because I love being outdoors and I love walking around and doing all this kind of stuff. And you know, we're there. Okay, enough blathering, I'm here. Let's get out there and find some birds. Okay, right off the bat, as soon as I walked in, there was a couple of cormorants and a duck over there. And now there's a big, egret over here and I'm going to try to get set up because people have already spooked him off and he's flown to a couple different trees. Oh, and there's another one up there. Okay. So yeah. All right. Right off the bat, we got good shit going on here. So I'm going to see what we can get. All right. I'm, I'm not having the best timing luck today. Every time I see something that I want to get, it ends up flying away before I can get situated. That's the price you pay for carrying all this crap around. So obviously I have my a7R5 with the 200 to 600, which is not easy to, to lug around maneuver. I also have my collapsible stool, but I have my Suray carbon fiber tripod with the FX3 on it to film my escapades. And uh, like, there's been no time to do any of that because every time I see something, I'm like, ooh, you know, and then I go to set, just even set stuff down just to get a couple shots before I get myself all situated like this, damn thing flies away. I think I'm gonna try my luck with tracking expandable spot. This right here is hard for me to do, sitting still like this. That's why I usually don't bring the seat, you know, and then I whine and lament that I should have brought the seat because I would love to sit down and just relax. But then when I do this, 
I, I feel like I gotta move. <laughs> I still don't have patience. Don't know if I ever will. I think I'm gonna move. Nothing is happening here. And, and I feel like this is a waste of time. So let's, let's get up and move. Okay, so there's a guy out here kayaking and I could see that he was gonna come up and spook this great egret. So rather than set up the camera to capture me capturing that, I put the camera down and, and immediately got set up and got some good flight shots of it flying away. Unfortunately, it went that way instead of this way. Okay, so there's hundreds of them now. Something kicked them up. There are literally hundreds of gulls over there. And every once in a while, something stirs them up and they start flying around. But at least they got kicked up and I got some pictures of the, of the maelstrom of birds. And, you know, yay. Here's shit in your eye. Awesome. Thanks. I figured I would forego the usual end of Pleasure House point run where I'm like, oh, that was really fun. It was, but I figured I would just have a nice drive to three shifts with the music playing and no blathering and all that kind of stuff. So it was nice. I also got a bunch of stuff delivered, so probably going to um, go and get that, then head home with her being and open them up and play and do all the video stuff. So, all right, let's finish with the shit. Oh, by the way, there's even more shit. Stop looking at the screen. Okay, kids, I have been busy opening up new packages, but for now it is 528. I'm hungry. I didn't have lunch. I just had bean and I am going to go down there and start pushing her to think about what we're going to do for dinner so that I can go ahead and get it and then get this thing edited and put up which is what you're seeing now. So that's all you get for today. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.